So Creative Solutions, our idea for the project came about partly because we were frustrated at um, the destinations that our learners were going to. We didn't feel that it really um, replicated what they were able to do. So they weren't going into employment, they weren't getting those opportunities. What we did was we decided to look at transitions into college and transitions out of college. We created a tool that allowed us to assess learners against set criteria. So before they even come to college now, we have a good idea of where we're heading towards. That helps us to plan their curriculum and make it really person-centred. The other half of the funding, uh, we decided to employ a transitions officer. Karen has come in and has turned over our whole work experience and our work outcomes processes. The level of employment in this area is, is very low. It's in the region of 2%. Um, our students are very, very capable. We want the work opportunities to be as realistic as possible um, so that the students leaving the college have got a, um, a very realistic chance of getting work at the end of it. So um, what we're looking at is sectors that are um, where there's quite high demand. So sectors like um, the retail sector, hospitality, car valeting. So we actually have a car valeting operation on the campus here and we've worked on um, industry standards so we're, we're confident that um, our student can reach those industry standards. I can then go to an employer and say um, if we had a student um, that could work to all your standards and could meet all your time frames would you employ them and of course they're going to say they're going to say yes. Prior to Karen start, uh, starting work here I think it was limited what we offered as work experience. However, bringing Karen in as, as, and under the Creative Solutions project has allowed us to really dedicate that time that it needed to working with bigger employers. The reason why she focuses on the big employers such as Boots, um, Enterprise, Morrisons is because they're more likely to, um, to offer long-term employment we're not looking for just the six months when learners leave college. We are looking for that long-term um, outcome for them. We've gone from, uh, from I think it was 10 learners uh, a few years ago who undertook work experience. Now we're 40 plus learners who are doing weekly work experience external to the college. I think that's really exciting. So Boots will do um, work placements for our students. Um, the manager of one of the Boots um, stores comes over every month and works with our tutor here um, to make sure that what we're teaching them is relevant to work in a boot store. So um, what the students will do in class is they will do a lot of role plays in class, they will practice in our, in our shop um, so that they get really sort of comfortable dealing with, dealing with, dealing with customers. Um, later we're going to do a, um, a a role play about complaints. And uh, l last uh, Thursday afternoon, we was done recording our voices to to make a complaint by by the, by the phone and as face to face in person. So, because we are an industrial area, <clears throat> um, workshop skills has become a really uh, popular choice for our learners. Uh, we've also got retail as one of our main employers and craft design. So therefore, what we've done is we've designed the curriculum to make it really feed in one from the other. So workshop skills, uh, they design and make products. That then comes up to the retail crafts centre. They then decorate the products. They then pass those products on to retail who package, price and sell the items. The majority of our learners do actually learn by doing. Uh, they don't, they tend not to respond well to just sitting in a classroom learning from a blackboard. It's not the way in which they do it. What we teach is those functional skills that our learners really need to be able to manage in work and life beyond college. So in the workshops you'll see that they'll be, uh, they'll be working on measuring shape and space, looking at numbers, design, all those math skills. In retail, they're developing their communication, their speaking and listening skills, their IT, they're using equipment, they're loading things onto eBay. And in crafts, they're also developing um, fine motor skills, communicating with each other to make sure that they get the right design. So those work skills have such an important part to play in, in a holistic education for students.
These students are fantastic. Um, it's so rewarding to work with them. Um, I think that I think generally expectations can be quite low within the students, and I think when they actually have that light bulb moment and realise that they can actually achieve that, there, there's nothing like it. It's a fantastic job. I have an I have got an interview tomorrow for Boots, and I'm supposed to start next week, basically. A bit nervous about the interview, but I'm sure it'll be interesting working for Boots. It's what I'd want, like to get a job in the end of my education, improve, like that. I'm good enough to work. It's a privilege to work with our learners um, and everybody involved feels the same that actually it's a privilege to come here. You don't get that everywhere and I think that's what makes it special.